Welcome back to part 2 of Epic Airsoft HD's test of revision military eyewear ballistic goggles. In yesterday's episode we talked about the anti-fogging technology in the Viper Tail and ExoShield Extreme and you can click here in this box to watch that if you haven't already. Today we're looking at two higher end pairs of goggles, the Desert Locust and the Bull Ant. Both sets of goggles we're going to review today are for rear steel military use, so they should be more than up to the challenge of protecting my eyes from a point blank shot from an airsoft gun. We'll perform that practical test later on in the video, but for now, let's look at the individual goggles and go over some of the features. First, let's take a look at the Desert Locust. Uh, this is a large frame goggle. It's made from a strong, flexible material, as you can see here. Uh, this is designed so it more comfortably fits the profile of your face. It's nice and low profile, so fit underneath most helmets. Also comes with this nice 360 degree strap, which is elasticated, and that just gives you that extra bit of security for when you're wearing it on your face. Uh, and it comes with this nice uh, anti-reflective cover, which also stops scratches and dirt getting into your goggles for when they're not in use. The frames come in black, foliage green like these, and in tan. The polarized polycarbonate lenses, which are interchangeable in the deluxe set, come in smoked, clear, and in high contrast yellow. Revision also make an Asian Locust, which is a separate goggle and it's better designed to fit the Asian facial profile. Both the Desert and the Asian Locust come in a fan version which gives superior fog protection in extreme conditions. The fan is a tri-speed silent system that is powered by a battery enclosed in a weatherproof casing so you don't need to worry about your goggles getting wet. So now let's take a quick look at the bullet hand. Now these are pretty much the same features as the Desert Locust which is good but they are slightly more traditional in the fact that they've got a double lens rather than the big single lens of the Desert Locust there. Uh, there's also a little bit lower profile, so they fit under pretty much all helmets that are on there on the market and they're much more flexible. As you can see, they can twist and they're a bit more comfortable to the face. Um, again, they come with the same three sets of polycarbonate lenses in the Deluxe set and these are the goggles we're going to go ahead and put to the practical test to see how well they stand up against an airsoft gun. For all the viewers that need corrective lenses, the Vision offer an accessory called the RX Carrier which can be attached in both these goggles. Those can be fitted with prescription lenses by any licensed optician. All of the goggles we reviewed in this part and yesterday's meet and exceed the ANSI and military ballistic standards. These RX Carriers are on the US Army's approved protective eyewear list, along with the Desert Locust we described earlier and the Softline military eyewear system. As promised, we're going to test that by shooting me point blank range in the eyes. So, Let's get this test over and done with. You can see my hack app up. Magazine is loaded with 0.2 gram BBs. Green gas. 350 feet per second. I'm going to take a couple of shots in the face. Hope you don't mind. I'm going to close my eyes for this one. Mm. We'll do one more for luck. It held out pretty well, better than I did. To see these and the rest of the revision range, click on the links in the description below. To see our next episode, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.